Uri happened after the time of Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, and shortly before the prophetic mission of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the king of Saba was sitting concerned in the terrace of his palace. My lord, the king Idarus, the sandstorm rages. It is safer to go into the closed throne hall. I feel so depressed, Arnos. What makes you depressed, my lord? The rains fall on the mountains around us and the floods flow to us. Then it is wasted in the thirsty desert. Is this desert never getting stated? We have to find a way to prevent the floods from being wasted in the desert. Why doesn't my lord think of going out on a hunting trip? It might relieve you of some gloom. Okay, prepare the supplies to travel tomorrow. My lord, I suggest we go back to the palace. But we didn't hunt anything yet. The supplies that we have, my lord, are barely enough for us on the way back. So why didn't you take it in mind and bring more food and drink? I brought it, my lord, but we have been traveling for 10 days now. Does the desert want to challenge me? We must find a way to defeat it. I want to remove this horrible yellow color. As you wish, my lord. I want to meet the chief engineer as soon as I return from the trip. Have a look with me, my lord. I don't understand anything from your drawings and complex calculations. They are it is very friends. simple. We will build a dam that draws water into the valleys when it rains and we will use it over the year. Great! The important thing is that you build the dam quickly. Excuse me, my lord. It's impossible. What? Do you disobey my orders? No. I'm telling you the scientific facts. The construction will take decades. Decades? And maybe hundreds. And mostly, when the construction is done, we won't be alive. So, what is the point? Our grandchildren and great-grandchildren will benefit, and most of the land will be green. I agree. Start working immediately. Hundreds of years have already passed in which the life changed, and the good king who had the idea of the Marab Dam is gone, and others came to enjoy the bounties of the dam. Look at the result of our efforts. Tomorrow, the King Mosaika will be richer, while we will be hungrier and poorer. Don't say this word, Mosaika, or we will go to the prison. Everybody knows that the King ruins two silk garments every day, so no one else can wear them. How are you, my friend Osman? Actually, I feel really bored. Why don't you try to travel? Where do I travel? and everywhere around us is full of gardens and ripe fruit trees. You are right. It's boring. As long as you both feel bored. So go back to work. Which work, Mr. Arif? Did you both forget the farming? I work now in making of weapons. I have swords of pure gold and inlaid with precious stones. What about Sahran? My nails can no longer stand the hard work. Moreover, I am busy with making wine. The demand for vintage wines is increasing every day. Oh Allah, please remove your anger and hatred from us. The bald man went to the barber and asked him to cut his hair. <laughs> May Allah bless you, your highness. What a creative joke. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself from laughing. <laughs> they are my new friends. Osman is a weapons dealer. Great. We will count on you to supply the army with the necessary shields, swords and so on. That's a great honor, my lord. And Zahran is the best maker of vintage wine. So, we lock him up in the palace to make for us what we want. <laughs> I am your loyal servant, my lord. Why are you starving, chief engineer? And what concerns you? 
What concerns me, my lord, is the change which happened in land. You have the right to be proud of it. You are the one who finished the construction of the dam. I wish I didn't do it, and I wish I wasn't an engineer. Why, wise man? I thought you are proud of the dam. The dam was a blessing, but it carries with it a thousand heavily armed evil. Explain what you say, wise man. We don't get it. The blessing of the dam made us forget the truth of the blesser. The people know that the gift of divine grace, his fortress, never fails. But they don't know that saving this fortress can be only by thanking God. Have you finished your preaching? Do you want us to still pour? Ah. <sighs> If only we were poor, patient, rather than being ungrateful, rich. This is too much. We forget how to thank Allah. Iblis did prove true his thought about us and made us forget the gratefulness. You are overacting, Chief Engineer. Drink your glass and forget about your concerns. As for our friend in Marib, the land has become better, and it has come upon all its inhabitants. It is strange that when the nature of the land changed to green, the souls of the people changed for the worse. Where is the new garment in which I will enter the bathroom? Here it is, and you will find there the third garment in which you will attend the governing council. Where is our son Malik? He is giving the gift to the senior officials and the wealthy people in the palace garden. What a fool! He was supposed to get the gifts in his birthday. It is my idea so that people will love him more and be ready to accept him as a ruler after a long time. I'm afraid. The people love him more than me. <laughs> what is wrong with that? He is your beloved son and your successor, and all the fathers want a better future for their sons. Ah, rat, rat! You scared me, you fool! It's just a small rat, not a wild lion. No, it's more dangerous than a lion. If these rats lived among us, it would give birth and turn into army of rodents that will ruin our fields and spread disease to us. Jamila, the daughter of the minister, is among us. Please, my lady, tell your decent father about his danger before it gets worse and turns into a disaster. I will do it for sure. I don't know where these harmful rats came from. It's a punishment from the god because of the evil and corruption. The rats in Saba became a dangerous problem that threatens the future of the land and its wealth. Why didn't you tell me about the rat problem at the time, Minister? I thought it is too trivial to disturb the peace of your council, my lord. I have a solution, my lord. Speak up, chief arms dealer. I suggest we spread the venom in the whole land of Sheba, so we will kill all the rats. But we also will destroy the whole harvest, and everyone eat from it will die. We could prevent the people from eating this year, and we have cabinets of fruits and crops enough to the wealthy people. Hmm. What do you think about the suggestion? I reject it, my lord. The land will be affected by the venom for a long time. Furthermore, the fallen fruits from the trees are the most expensive because it is used for making wine. So, what is the solution? I have a suggestion, my lord. Speak up, first lady of Saba. 
We will raise many wild cats and it is known that cats by nature prey on rats and eat them. So the problem will be solved. You are such a shrewd woman. I like it. Things are going according to the plan. <clears throat> Let me have a look by myself. What a scary creature. I mean disgusting. My lord, the cats are attacking. They are still attacking. They are getting close to the target. Great. What a wonderful victory. What a crushing defeat for the rats. It's a history day for Saba. لقد كان لسبا في مسكنهم آية جنتان يمين وشمال كلوا من رزق ربكم واشكروا له بلدة طيبة ورب غفور What a beautiful weather today, my dear wife, Tarifa. It's the first time you call me my dear wife. I wonder why. Because it is the last time I will see you. It seems that a dangerous event will happen. Where are you going, my lord? Wait for me. Don't leave me. What a terrible sound of thunder. Where would I go? It's... thundered and lightened and then it shocked so it burned oh my god it was a dream no it was a terrible nightmare it's a bad omen i must warn the king immediately mother what is going on malik are you okay my son for sure why are you running in the garden at this late hour I have seen a terrible nightmare while sleeping. Tell me, what did you see? I saw clouds that lightened and thunder for so long that it shocked. It burns everything it goes down on and after all nothing but the drowning. Is this poetry? I have wasted my time with you. Where is your father? I think he is sitting at the end of the garden. Wait for me, my mother. I'm coming with you. Othman, no one enters the king now. Yes, madam. No one, even the minister. Yes. What happened? Are you gone crazy? Listen to me carefully, Amr. Just Amr without honorifics. This is not the time for that, my father. Listen to my mother carefully. Speak, Tarifa. Is the matter that much secrecy? I saw a frog and a turtle in the garden. Huh? What do you think? About what? You have gone crazy. A dream of the thunderbolt and big frogs standing on their feet? What am I supposed to understand from all of that? The light and the darkness, the land and sky. The trees will be destroyed and the water will back the way he was in past. And who told you that? The lockets told me about hard years in which the son and the father are cut off. Is there a sign to that? Go to the dam. If you saw a rat digging in the dam and flipping the stones with his feet, make sure the disaster would strike us. I am going to the dam's body for nothing but to assure you that it's nonsense and pipe dreams. All the rats are dead. The cats have eaten them long ago. If I only could understand what is the reason behind this surprising visit. It's not your business. I am sorry. I will not talk. I hope so. I'm going up alone to the mountain. Do you want me to go with you? Stay here. If something bad happens to me, take over after me. Be careful. No one of these fools are following me. Yes, father. 
Oh, thank God, everything is normal. Huh? The rats came back. Oh, it's flipping a stone which 50 men can't move. Oh, it's the end. The end. The end. The king, Amr ibn Amr, standing there confused, doesn't know what to do. Father, father, are you okay? Malik, stay where you are. I'm coming to you. We were concerned. You were standing there for a long time and looking down. Maybe I lost track of time. What did you see up there? Nothing, nothing. I must meet Tarifa to discuss something very dangerous and I don't want anyone to bother me. Yes, father. A rat dragging a stone? Didn't I tell you? It has claws and fangs, Tarifa. These are bad signs. Take this bottle and look at it. If it filled up with sand, make sure that the end is near. The sands really fill up the bottle. When do you think the dam will destroy? Within seven years. So, we must move fast. I found an idea that the devil wouldn't even think about. What is the letter? It is an invitation from the king Amr ibn Amr to a dinner in his palace. Why didn't he make the messenger tell you directly? It is the foolishness and wastefulness. Look at the invitation. It is written with gold. It is really gold. And thousands of people are starving and complaining from the injustice and corruption. Wouldn't you stop your dissenting opinion? Everything will change and Allah's anger will befall the unjust people. Hello, my father and my lord. Sit down, Malik. It wouldn't be appropriate, father. For me to sit down while you... I said sit down and listen carefully. Yes, father. Tonight, all the wealthy people in Saba will gather. I have invited all of them purposely. A trick I have in mind. Huh? Which trick? There is no time to explain. Do you trust me? And know well that I do the best for you, my son. Of course, father. So, do all what I ask you now. Disagree with me in everything I say and fight me over the food and snatch it from me in front of everyone. And if I curse you, curse me back. Hmm? How? Do what I ask you to do. And if I hit you, you hit me roughly. You have my hearing and obedience, my father. A bald man went to cut his hair. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice joke! No, it's silly as the one who said it. We heard it a thousand times before. <coughs> I thought the prince meant another bald man. Your prince is fool and humorless. I said, fool and humorless. And you have eaten enough today. This is my dish and I will not give it. There is so much food, my prince. My lord, please taste from this meat. I will only eat from this plate. And I will not let you. You are such a rude boy. Take this to learn the manners. And you too. Take this, Mosaika. How dare you hit and insult me. Let me kill him. My lord, you cannot kill your own son, the prince. My lord, I swear by God of Isa that you will get enough with hitting him or removing him, but not killing him. Shut up, you saboteur. I won't get my dignity back if I didn't kill him. 
take off my head instead of him. This boiling is what has corrupted him. You are the corrupt one. My prince, my prince, please do not talk. Did you see that? Give the knife. Do you all disobey me and prevent me to discipline my son? So I will leave this land in which the father is prevented from his son. I will travel and leave you. Goodbye. You were my land. Do you believe what happened yesterday? I thought the king would be temporarily angry, but he insisted to leave the land. And who will rule us? I do not care. Sorry, father, because I slapped you. Never mind. We have collected a great amount of money. There is who offered to buy our horses and our camels too. No, we will need it to run away and put on it all of the gold. When will we leave? When we sell the rest of the land and palaces. Why aren't you eating, father? I am concerned, my daughter. I have many questions with no answers. Strange things happen quickly that confused me, and I want to think about it quietly. What do you mean? The king. Amr ibn Amr loves the authority, the power, and the fertile land. So, what makes him leave all this and travel? He felt humiliated, as we all saw, and he was prevented to discipline his ungrateful son. This trick didn't get to me. The king and the prince seemed like they agreed to fight in front of us. Why are they doing that? This is what I didn't get. I must go to the dam. Father, father, keep your voice down. You're supposed to be abandoning this palace because you are scared of me. What do you want? I want to say sorry again for slapping you. Never mind. Have you packed the bags and the boxes? Yes. This is for food and this is for fruits. I said a thousand times to reduce the luggage. We don't want to walk in a caravan of a thousand camels, and all the people of Saba see us. Do we leave our own food during the traveling? We have from gold, which buy everything, reduce the luggage, and run away quietly. Yes, father. Let's go, mother. I will miss this good land. There is no time for feelings. Miss it later. Let's go. We have a lot of work, Minister. Moments, and both of you will go. What should we notice? Look at that. It's just a rat. Where did the cats go? It's not one rat, but army of rats. Look at the rat flipping the stone, and it bites it with its teeth. They are wild rats like lions and may harm us. This is not the danger. The problem is that the bits down the Marib Dam. Do you think the water might leak? I wish you hadn't asked. Help us! Help us! Ah! Go away from my palace. It's my palace too. We bought it together. I'm the one who has the key. King Amr bin Amir sold it to us together. Prove it. How could I prove it? And he is gone. So go away, you two, before I command the guards to get you out. The water! The dam failed! Where do we run? Help! 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 I will drown! فَأَعْرَضُوا فَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ سَيْلَ الْعَرِمِ وَبَدَّلْنَاهُمْ بِجَنَّتَيْهِمْ جَنَّتَيْهِمْ 
الْجَنَّتَيْنِ ذَوَاتَيْ أُكُلٍ خَمْطٍ وَبَدَّلْنَاهُمْ بِجَنَّتَيْهِمْ جَنَّتَيْنِ ذَوَاتَيْ أُكُلٍ خَمْطٍ وَأَثْلٍ وَشَيْءٍ مِّنْ سِدْرٍ قَلِيلٍ ذلك جزيناهم بما كفروا وهل نجازي إلا الكفور وجعلنا بينهم وبين القرى التي باركنا فيها قرى ظاهرة وقدرنا فيها السير سيروا فيها ليالي وأياما آمنين فقالوا ربنا باعد بين أسفارنا وظلموا أنفسهم فجعلناهم أحاديث فجعلناهم أحاديث ومزقناهم كل ممزق إن في ذلك لآيات لكل صبار شكور ولقد صدق عليهم إبليس ظنه فاتبعوه إلا فريقا من المؤمنين وما كان له عليهم من سلطان إلا لنعلم من يؤمن بالآخرة ممن هو منها في شك وربك على كل شيء حفيظ